First, we'll start by designing the floor, which is in this case a carpet. It is not a problem to start with the floor and add the frames later. Starting in point zero, you can design the carpet using the rectangle tool. You can type in the dimensions in the box on the bottom right hand side. We want the floor to be 6 by 3 meters, so we'll start by entering 6000, followed by a semicolon and then 3000. Submit the dimensions by pressing Enter. Using the push and pull tool in the left hand column, you can add thickness to your floor. You can enter this in the same box as for the floor dimensions. In this case, we'll type in 30. In order to make a group of the carpet, we'll select everything, right click on the floor, and select Make Group. A group is a collection of lines and surfaces that belong together and form a whole. Using the section materials on the right hand side, you can search for a specific carpet in the section Carpet, Fabrics, and so on. Stand on your selected carpet with the paint bucket and choose Carpet Plush Charcoal. We'll now add the frames and corners to our design. Open the Alivision Parts library. Click on Omni 55. Download the basic 55 Omni 55 A3 frame by clicking the blue download icon. You will receive a notification from the 3D warehouse whether or not you want to download the frame directly into your SketchUp model. Click yes. If you want to change the dimensions and other options of the frame, right click on the frame. Go to Dynamic Components and click on Component Options. You can now change the dimensions and add a Luvi Bond front and or back. Once you hit Apply, the frame will be updated. We'll now position our frame exactly on the outlines of the carpet so it doesn't exceed our surface. After selecting the frame, you can move it using the Move tool. Zoom in on the corner of your frame and drag it to the end point of your carpet. Add additional frames by copying the first frame. You can copy it using the Move tool and pressing the Control button at the same time. You can easily join the two frames together using the Alivision snapping tool. Always select the component you want to move first and then select the component you want to attach it to. If the two components are not yet aligned, it's better to select two snapping points. If they are already aligned, you only have to select one snapping point. Now you already have two frames next to each other. Next, we'll use a T corner, which you'll need to download from the Alivision parts library. Go to the section Corners. Download T Corner A1 by clicking the blue download icon. The component options allow you to adjust height and add a Luvi Bond if needed. In this case, we won't need a Luvi Bond as the backside of the corner is not visible, so we'll just select None. When you're done, click Apply. You can easily align your T-corner with the other frames using the Alivision snapping tool. Continue adding the next frame. You can again copy it with the combination of the Move tool and the Control button. Snap your frame to the T-corner with the Alivision snapping tool. On the other side of the frame, you can add the same T-corner without a Luvi Bond. You can copy it with the Move tool and the Control button. Snap your corner to the frame with the Alivision snapping tool. We will now add a door to the first T-corner. You can download the door from the Alivision parts library. Go to Omni 55. Choose the premium door A3 and download it by clicking the blue download icon. 
we advise to always use double-sided Aluvibond on doors. This as well can be adjusted in the section Component Options. Select White from the drop-down menu for Aluvibond front and back. The option Direction allows you to change the opening direction of the door. With Opening, you can determine how far the door will be open. It is also possible to add a window to your door. Then, put the door in place by using the Alivision snapping tool. Next to the second T-corner, we'll add another frame. Copy it by using the Move tool and the Control button. Snap your frame to the T-corner with the Alivision snapping tool. Next, we'll put a C90 corner next to the frame. Snap your corner to the frame with the Alivision snapping tool. Then, copy the C90 corner using the Move tool and Control button and snap it to the door using the snapping tool. Between the two C90 corners, we need an Omni 55 frame of 992 by 1178 mm at the bottom. We'll start from a frame we've already used. Select the frame you want to make smaller and open the component options. The component options will allow you to adjust height and width of the frame. Position your frame in between the two C90 corners with the Alivision snapping tool. On top of this Omni 55 frame, we want to use four highlight tiles. You'll need to download those from the Alivision parts library. Go to Highlight. Choose the Highlight tile by clicking the Download button. The Highlight can also be positioned using the Alivision snapping tool. Copy the Highlight tile using the Move tool and the Control button. Start typing 496 and press Enter. Then select the two bottom tiles and copy those 496 mm upwards. On top of the four highlight tiles, we need an Omni 55 frame that is 992 by 310 mm. Again, we'll start from a frame that we've already used. Select the frame you want to make smaller and open the component options. The component options allow you to adjust height and width. Snap the small frame on top of the highlight tiles with the Alivision snapping tool. Download the Poly 124 Bright Frame from the Alivision Parts Library. Go to Poly 124 Bright. Choose the Poly 124 Bright Frame by clicking the download button. If you open the component options, you can not only change the dimensions, but also the type of SEG infills. You will see that the lightbox dimensions are set to 1984 by 2976 mm. We will change these dimensions to 2480 by 1860 mm. Note that your dimensions must be entered in millimeters. Put the Poly 124 bright frame next to the T corner by using the Alivision snapping tool.
Pay attention to the shape of the poorly 124 bright profile. The slope side is the backlit side and needs to be facing front. The LED modules and the drivers are already included in the poorly 124 bright frame. We will now add an arch section. This will be next to the poorly 124 bright light box. Put a 992 by 2480 Omni 55 frame next to the poorly 124 bright light box. You can copy the frame by using the Move tool and the Control button. You can easily put your frame next to the light box using the Alivision snapping tool. From the top of the arch, we will need a curved frame which can also be downloaded from the Alivision parts library. Go to Omni 55 and download the Omni 55 A3 R437 V2 frame. Change the height of the frame to 992 in the component options. and choose white alluvibond infills for the front and back of the frame. For the ceiling we'll need an Omni 55 frame of 992 by 1984 mm. You can copy a frame by using the Move tool and the Control button. In the Component options, change the height to 1984. Position the frame with the Alivision snapping tool. Next, we'll add another Omni 55 A3 R437 frame on the other side of the ceiling frame. You can copy it with the Move tool and the Control button. Snap the second curved frame to the ceiling with the Alivision snapping tool. Finish the bridge with a 992 by 2480 mm Omni 55 frame. You can copy the frame from the other side of the arch with the Move tool and the Control button. In the component options, change the alluvibond to white front and back. When importing the connectors, it's easier if the alluvibond panels are not visible. In the right hand column, go to Tags and make A4 SU Infill Invisible by clicking the icon of the eye in front of it. Let's start with the Quick Tightener LSD30A. You can find this by selecting two frames and then opening the Alivision Parts Library. Download the connector by clicking the blue download icon. Position the Quick Tightener LSD30A with the Alivision snapping tool. Do the same for every connection between a corner post and a frame, by selecting the frame and the corner post and then opening the Alivision parts library. Download the Quick Tightener LSM6-D30X80 in the same manner as the Quick Tightener LSD30A. To attach your door to a corner post, you will need a different connector, which is called Quick Tightener Premium M6K. The easiest way to find it is by selecting the corner and the door, and then opening the Alivision Parts Library. You'll need two on each side of the door. Position them by using the Alivision Snapping Tool. There is also a click and connect button. This button will automatically insert all necessary quick tightness.
The stand has two pack flex lights, which you can also find in the Alivision parts library in the section Lighting. Choose the pack flex, 16 watts, and download it into your SketchUp model. You can position it using the Alivision snapping tool. Inside the storage, we'll add a clothes rod. You can find it in the Alivision parts library in the section Accessories. Position it in the frame using the Alivision snapping tool. The frame on the far left of the back wall will need shelf brackets. Those can also be found in the shelf holder section of the Alivision parts library. When using the Alivision snapping tool to position the brackets, you need to snap them to the holes on the outside of the frame. On top of the shoppers, you can draw a shelf with the rectangle tool. Make the shelf a bit thicker by using the push and pull tool. Type 30 into the box on the bottom right hand side and press enter. Turn your shelf into a component by selecting everything. Then right click and select make component. Type shelf in the box definition and click create. You can easily copy the shoppers and the shelf with the move tool and the control button. You can also put a sculpture on the shelf. The sculpture as well can be found in the Alivision parts library. It's called The Visitor by Hido Delu. With the move tool, you can put the sculpture on the shelf. We can now cover the outside of the Omni 55 A3 frames with an Omni 55 cover. You will find this in the section Covers. Use the Alivision snapping tool to attach the cover to the frame. The Omni 55 covers on both sides of the ceiling frame will need to be adjusted to 1984 mm. Select the cover you want to make smaller and open the component options. Use the Alivision snapping tool to place the cover on the frames.
You can also cover the outside of the curved frames with a cover called Omni 55 R 437 90 degree wall reinforcement L. You will find this in the section covers. Use the Alivision snapping tool to attach the cover to the frame. Go to Tags and tick Make the Tag A4SU Infill Visible again. We will now be giving the stand an upgrade by adding some texture to the Aluvi Bond panels. You will first need to make the frames unique. Otherwise, all the 992mm frames will automatically get the same texture. Select the frame, right click and select Make Unique. Select the Aluvi Bond of the first frame. You'll have to double click two times until the surface is selected. Then go to File, Import. Search for your first texture. This should be the file that is saved on your computer. For Use Image As, select Texture. Make sure you are looking for a JPG file. First select the lower left corner and then the lower right corner or type in 992mm. Repeat these actions for the second and for the final frame. Next, select the Aluvi Bond on the front frame of the bridge. You'll have to double click it twice until the surface is selected. Open the folder with the logo and drag the file to the Aluvi Bond panel. By using the green dots, you can scale the logo. Open the Move tool to reposition it. Select the front fabric of the Poly 124 Bright Light Box. You'll have to double click twice until the surface is selected. Then go to File, Import. Search for the visual that you saved on your computer. Make sure to look for JPEG files and select Texture before importing the file. First select the lower left corner and then the lower right corner or type in the required size. Download the looping from the Alivision Parts library. You can find it in the folder Ready Made and Displays. Position it with the Move tool. Everything you download from the Alivision Parts library is in a tag. The column on the right side shows the most frequent tags. You can make tags visible or invisible by clicking in the little eye in front of the tag. You've drawn the floor yourself, so you can put that in a separate tag and call it floor. Click the plus symbol to add a tag and type floor. Select the floor in your model and go to the entity info on the right. Choose floor as your tag. To test the tag, try making it invisible. In SketchUp, creating scenes will allow you to save different model views and properties. You can then use these to present the model to your own customers. Before you create a scene, choose the right angle and apply the styles, shadows, etc. that you want the scene to display. Also hide any geometry or deselect any layers that you don't want to be displayed in the view. All these properties are saved in your scene. However, it is possible to update or manage them later on. Click the plus sign to add a scene. The scene will then appear in the Scenes dialog with the default name of Scene 1.
For each scene you create, a new tab will appear at the top of the drawing area. So just click the different tabs to see all of your saved views. Now we're going to save the scene we've made as an image. Under File, go to Export and then click 2D Graphic. Save your image. Repeat these steps for every scene you've made. We can also combine all the scenes we made into a video. To do so, go to File, Export and click on Animation to save this video. Based on your own design, you can generate a detailed quote for your customer. You can change the logo into your own one. You can select your own color. You can write your own disclaimer. You can adjust the quote with your client's information and individual discounts. You can export the quote as Excel file and or print it. If there's no component selected, you can see your personal library and get models from it. First, you must set the location of the library. This can be any folder on your device or within the network. Ideally, this should be a network folder or a shared folder such as Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive or similar. If a component is selected, you can give your model an identity, such as a product group, reference, name, weight and price. There is also a setting that allows you to indicate whether a product should be included in the library or not. 